X has radicalized me, and I don't really like it. There are so many posts that end up in my For You feed that I just try to ignore. Accounts like Cat Turd, for instance. I'm so glad that community notes go after his posts when he says stupid things like his recent post proving that he doesn't know how hurricanes work. There are so many people who spout off so many ignorant things, stuff that they either completely made up in their head as if it's the truth, or they ridiculously embellish something that has just a tiny hint of truth to it. And if they're good at it, they'll get a lot of followers and engagement. People who state things that they know are not true, but because it's lucrative to be for or against a number of specific things, and there are no significant rules stopping people, we end up getting the worst of the worst in many cases. Grifting and engagement farming are the names of the games on X. Far more than on YouTube. Though YouTube is pretty bad at times, I've got to admit. But X is the most current and fresh, and it's highly addictive. There's really nothing close. Settling for days-old information, or information that has went through the filters of mainstream media, does not make me feel like I know what's currently going on. I mean, after mainstream media started to prove that uh, they also put out, uh, occasionally put out misinformation and disinformation, you know, smear campaigns of all sorts, and highly politicized reporting while trying to sound neutral, especially after COVID hit, I just don't trust them anymore in a number of areas. In some areas, obviously, I still trust them, like, you know, the weather, the weather forecasts. I mean, those aren't perfect, but they're trying, right? Or getting footage of a parade or something. A consumer study on the longevity of certain technology. You know, things that can't be ruined by having politically polarizing views. I'll trust them in those instances. But I have to be far more careful as far as what I should trust when I'm on X. I suppose the good side is that it keeps me on my toes. But a lot of right-wing messaging still kind of gets to me after I see enough of it. I mean, the same can be said on YouTube, but most of it, I'd say, has, has sprung from X. One of the problems is that I really don't like a lot of left-wing content. There's just so much ignorance of the other side. Constantly the worst assumptions of right-wing motives. On everything. Constant claims of fascism, especially towards Trump and his supporters. And it's some of these same people who are the same ones who will call Javier Millet a fascist, even though he's an anarcho-capitalist, which is about the furthest away from fascism as you can get. And then there's all the constant messaging that comes from the far left, the, the further left, I won't say far left, because there aren't that many actual far left pundits online. They're, they're, they're out there, but they're, they're not that popular, I'll just say that. But th there's this constant messaging from a lot of the further left pundits that push that we should dismantle the oppressive systems that make up this country, like our standards, roles, rules, and customs. It's the notion that these systems don't include all cultures and demographics equally, so we need to tear them all down, and not really replace them with anything. It's the notion that we shouldn't have standards, roles, rules, and customs at all. And I just don't get how people can think that's a reasonable goal. So yes, X has radicalized me a bit, and I don't like it. But I can't unsee things, just saying.